Ron Johnson. Is Ron here? Ron Johnson. He's a constituent senior resident in Ward 3 for 42 years, respecting concerns and issues Um, in addition to those credentials, I um, worked most of my life in, uh, in, with people with disabilities, and lately I love anything with two rails, so I've studied uh, trains and cars and uh, trolleys and so forth uh, for many years. Anyway, I'm, I'm not against uh, the LRT or public transit, but I am against any sort of uh, government spending that does not meet the proposal has many flaws when compared to comparable systems. I've written on the following LRTs, and each has its own approach uh, uh, to, uh, to the design challenges. Uh, Cincinnati, Portland, St. Louis, Sacramento, Scarborough, Cleveland, Buffalo, Bordeaux, France, and Milan, Italy. Hamilton does not succeed in its attempt to be a high-speed rail because the terrain doesn't really permit it. The streets, which effectively move auto and truck traffic, have been co-opted by the LRT forces, leaving future drivers to fend for themselves. In St. Louis, planners managed to achieve a high-velocity train service with no interference to vehicle traffic whatsoever that I can locate. The 46-mile uh, line leaves the airport on concrete pillars. It continues on the boundary of an expressway, runs through an open trench and back alleys along an abandoned railroad, through a downtown tunnel, pre-existing, and across at the Mississippi River Bridge, which dates from 1874. At no point does it ever run on the same path as auto traffic, except when crossing roads with the typical railroad warning signals. Besides the airport, the uh, St. Louis Metro Link, I don't know where they get these clever names, uh, serves four universities, two large malls, the 1,293 acre Forest Park, the 1,252 bed uh, Barnes Jewish Hospital, the uh, bus and train station, the Cardinals baseball field, the iconic St. Louis Arch, and ends up uh, discounting the size of the community, in the, in the comparison here between the communities, it would be impossible to design a system that would be efficiently connects a similar list of Hamilton destinations in, in a single line, especially ascending the mountain. The uh, Portland LRT also parallels at highway speeds. When it reaches downtown, however, it changes roles and becomes a streetcar service, stopping every few blocks. A single track hugs the right lane, the right curbs, and the rails are flat, allowing buses, delivery vehicles, and autos to use the concrete road surfaces as well. Um, boarding areas are simply a slightly raised portion on the curb. The tracks in the opposite direction are one block over. Um, the, these uh, types of designs seem to be rejected by Metrolinks out of hand, and, and uh, uh, the, the results are not as desirable. The newly completed Cincinnati LRT uses the same design as Portland, uh, and so I presume it's state of the art. The Hamilton proposal offers very few opportunities to be rapid. Traffic moves faster with a private vehicle and the current one-way street system. Hamilton's intensification and traffic patterns are much better suited to building a streetcar line, a streetcar line rather than an LRT, providing local service. However, you must access the train on a center platform that rises above the street. The design blocks any other vehicle accessing the street because of the need to be rapid, which it does not achieve. Instead, all Hamiltonian turns and many other traffic impediments. Portlanders are much luckier. The recent experiment with a dedicated bus lane uh, served to demonstrate to local residents the difficulty of this arrangement, namely that a lane that holds a bus every six minutes is sitting Local planners seem to be oblivious to the deterioration of auto and truck traffic and the reduction of transportation levels that the present LRT proposal. And here's a modest proposal to renew, the best, to, to renew that bus lane experiment. 
I suggested that we arrange some plastic cones on King Street to divert traffic onto Victoria and then onto Cannon. Wait six months, if necessary, to learn the impact on the average motorist. It could cost a few bucks, but it might save a billion. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. Councillor Skelly. Thank you, Madam. I would like you to expand a bit on the rapid component and your your uh, statement that the that this is no longer really transit. That uh, and maybe you can expand on that. All right. There seems to be some. Uh, whereas an LRT is wonderful. In reality, it has to be um, designed for whatever is available. Now, um, in Hamilton, the whole route is very urbanized, and there are very few opportunities, I don't think there are any opportunities to speed that up. Uh, places where, where there is an LRT, for instance, the Portland example, they go very fast on the outskirts, they come to the center of town, they slow down, they stop every couple of blocks. That's the case in Portland and, and most other areas where they have it. Uh, there's no reason, uh, what you have to do is, is choose the uh, answer to what the methodologies could be used in Hamilton. There's just no opportunity to do that. Mr. Johnson. rapid transit, would it have best then that the route be from the suburbs, uh, these things move much more quickly. So you have a, uh, a route where it, there will be an, a stop every couple of miles and there will be a local bus network to take you to the local destination. You go another couple of uh, miles and it happens again. Now that's what they're attempting to do in this design so it, it'll stop at Ottawa Street and so forth and so forth. Uh, but it really isn't that effective because it's just too tight. Thank you for that. Um would you, and, and you use the term trolley, is that how you would then describe what we have, we have before us? Uh, well, whatever you term you want, a streetcar. Now, the term LRT, um, from what I read, gets bandied about quite a bit. People want to say they have an LRT because that's a point of pride. They don't want to say they have a streetcar because that's so old-fashioned. In reality, it's the same tracks, it's the same electricity, it's the same, often the same vehicles, the same uh, streetcar, the same thing. They, they all look the same. It's, it's just a matter of what your needs are locally. Thank you. I could just um, confirm for me you don't believe this is rapid. Well, I, I think a very good point is that every uh, week in the newspaper, somebody's writing and saying, well, 50 kilometers is too fast for cars. We want to reduce it to 40 kilometers. We want to reduce it to 30 kilometers. Well, I don't see anybody getting on the idea that they want to have a 50-kilometer uh, LRT running down through the middle of town or an 80-kilometer LRT. Uh, that, that's equally as dangerous, if not more so, than having cars around going to be putting up with the city streets uh, in those dangerous circumstances. Thank you. I have no further speakers, so I thank you for your presentation.